So I want to read you. I want to read you a, a quote from your website. Um, his philosophy, talking about you, obviously. His philosophy is that food should be fun and entertaining, and some of the best dishes come from the mistakes. Um, and I think, <laughs> <laughs> well, here, here's here's why I brought that up. I, I think a lot of us entrepreneurs we get stuck in analysis paralysis and we want we want everything to be perfect before we start pushing content out there um you're you're a really mm-hmm. busy guy um so what does the process look like for you like you get an idea for video and then what how long until that's like live on facebook i uh i had a conversation with my chef yesterday we were talking about and this pertains to this uh i i i said well we're not doing anything for mother's day so i started writing down ideas and i sent him he was he it was his early day and he goes luca if i knew you were going to be working on this and the ideas for mother's day i would have stayed and we could have done it together i go dan you don't understand well you do know me once it's in my head it has to happen or it's gone (laughs) so if it doesn't if it doesn't create right then a lot of the videos that we've created have been because I got inspired by the dish or I got inspired by the moment. And I said, we need to do this. Uh, I, we had a big snowstorm in January where I, nobody was coming out. I knew nobody was going to come out. And we had this big pile of snow in front of the restaurant. And I had Lindsay. I said, Lindsay, I'm not going to get my tripod. Just grab, grab my phone. You're going to video me. We're eating the burger out there on the, on, in front of the snow pile. And I was like, come on out. Come see me. Come see Lindsay. Come see Dan. We're in the kitchen. This It's a small crew, but heck, come on out. We're here for you, and this burger's delicious. I ate it, and I fell back in the snow bank. It, was, it, it It was not the cleanest thing I've ever done, but it was fun, and it was, it was real. And I think mm-hmm. when I get on, uh, on my Facebook lives and when I do my presentations, they have to be real to me, or they feel fake, uh, or they feel rehearsed, or they feel, right. you know what I mean? And I, and I'm not, and I don't ever want to feel like that. So a lot of the stuff I do, most of it's unscripted. Well, most it's all in my whole life has been unscripted. Trust me. (laughs) Um, the, uh, and I think that's the same for a lot of us. We just don't admit it all the time Mm -hmm. and it doesn't have to be perfect. So what you're doing doesn't have to be perfect, but you have to give content. You just can't get on and say, hi, everybody, what's everyone doing? And then wait for them, give them some content. And if they want to interact with you on lives, they'll do it. Uh, that's what I'm doing with my Monday night thing. So I feel like I'm interacting more than my other ones.